Paul Saya, the developer of the Digidapter. I frequently get asked about custom fitting Digidapters for a variety of different scopes, eyepieces, cameras, and different setups. Um, I thought today we'd give you a little quick video about how I go about fitting these um, particularly hard to fit scopes so that you can have a Digidapter that fits on an oddball eyepiece like this. When a customer requests a custom Digidapter, I typically ask that uh, person to send me their eyepiece. And the reason is, is I can do a uh, precision measurement with their eyepiece using a micrometer to make sure that the inner ring gets fit absolutely perfect. Once I've accurately measured the customer's eyepiece, I start off with a uh, inner ring that has been previously hard anodized. It has a smaller diameter, leaving me room to be able to machine it to the correct dimension. When I'm finished, it looks like this. So let's go over to the lathe and I'll show you how I machine these special rings to make these custom adapters. After the final bore has been obtained in the inner ring, the test fit is done with the customer's eyepiece. As you can see, it is a very, very close fit. There's absolutely no movement. That's what makes a Digidapter so accurate. Once the bore is complete, the next step is to install the O-ring cutter and install grooves so that we have a friction fit on the eyepiece. And this is what the final inside dimension looks like. Okay, once we have the inner sleeve machined, I've installed the uh, O-rings that generate a friction fit, so the uh, ring stays on your eyepiece properly. And we'll give it a test fit. Snaps on just great. And then we'll test fit it one last time with the actual Digidapter. And as you can see, everything works perfectly. And when you order a custom fit Digidapter, this is exactly what you will receive.